is good Raider Nation is your boy Raider Alex back with you another video for you guys anybody that's new to the channel you guys love Raider related content just like this make sure to like comment subscribe to the channel also make sure to hit that bell notification that way you get notified every time I post a video just like this one without further ado let's jump right into the topic of this video the Raiders are headed back on the road week two against the Buffalo Bills. The Raiders are playing in that early 10 a.m. game out there in the East Coast. Well, technically 10 a.m. in the West Coast, but you know what I mean. The Raiders have struggled in these type of games throughout the years as long back as I can remember. Now, luckily, I think the Raiders made a good call and are taking the right approach and when it comes to their game preparation for this game by deciding to not travel back to Vegas and then making that long East Coast trip the day before. That way you can try to avoid the potential jet lag. They stayed in the East Coast and they were practicing throughout the whole week at the West Virginia training facility preparing for this week two matchup. So this team should be fully accustomed to the time change by tomorrow. And look, there should be no excuses for this team not to be ready physically for this game. Now this game, I definitely see it being a tough matchup for the Raiders as I still think the Buffalo Bills are a very good football team in the National Football League. The Bills and primarily quarterback Josh Allen struggled week one against the New York Jets and I see a lot of people overreacting on social media when it comes to their criticism on quarterback Josh Allen. Also what I think we also have to take into consideration is the New York Jets defense is legit and I think they have a much better defense than what the Raiders have at the moment. I feel like we're going to have a tough matchup nightmare in trying to cover wide receiver Stephon Diggs especially if we don't bracket him frequently now I do think defensive coordinator Patrick Graham will take this into consideration and play more conservative defense when it comes to the pass coverage but this game I think will be the first real test for this secondary and for this defense in general but I will be giving my three keys to victory for the Raiders to potentially upset the Buffalo Bills and the first is that the Raiders defense will need to contain Josh Allen. Josh Allen, in my opinion, is still an elite quarterback in this league. And he's a very tough quarterback to stop when he gets going downhill on those scramble drills. The Raiders last game did not do a great job containing Russell Wilson inside the pocket, which led him to be able to scramble outside the pocket and make big throws on the run, especially in the red zone. And Josh Allen poses an even bigger threat when it comes to this because he can also be a nightmare to bring him down especially when he scrambles inside the red zone when he's running he may just run it himself right into the end zone and also what I mean by containing Josh Allen is I also refer to the fact that the Raiders need to limit and contain the Buffalo Bills offense they need to control and limit the big chunk plays from the Bills the Bills are an offense that just thrive on those big plays and Josh Allen as well he's got that huge strong arm when it comes to those deep throws and Josh Allen in general is just a very aggressive quarterback, which, you know, is what can make him great. But at the same time, that can also come with consequences, especially if he makes risky and unnecessary throws. If the Raiders defense, I think if we can give them all the small plays and force them to check it down consistently and essentially force them to continually go the full length of the football field drive after drive, then that's where I think the Raiders may bait Josh Allen into eventually taking an unnecessary deep throw and that's where the Raiders need to come up with a turnover. Now my second key to victory is that the Raiders need to find a solid number two option at the wide receiver position with the absence of Jacoby Myers. Jacoby Myers last game had a terrific performance, nine catches, 81 yards and two touchdown passes. So with Jacoby Myers being out due to the concussion protocol, somebody else in this offense is gonna need to step up in order for the Raiders to even have a chance in this game. Now two things that were alarming week one one was the fact that our slot wide receiver Hunter Renfro had zero targets and in total he only played like 13 snaps and with Jacoby Myers being out we're gonna need that number two option because you know the Buffalo Bills defense is gonna game plan all week to try and contain star wide receiver Devontae Adams they're gonna bracket him every chance they get and they're gonna force somebody else on this offense to make plays I also wonder if rookie wide receiver Trey Tuckle will, will be finally active on the game day roster and if so can he take a bigger role into this offense at the very least be a decoy in certain deep ball situations and essentially try to substitute the production we had from Jacoby Myers last week 
I thought Trey Tucker was definitely going to be big for this offense moving forward this year, especially when it came to pre-stat motion and just in general the threat of having another deep ball wide receiver with that speed he has. But regardless, the Raiders will need somebody else on offense to step up and help Devontae Adams and our quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. And that really jumps into my last point as well. And that's going to be the last key to victory. I think it's going to be the running game for the Las Vegas Raiders. Last week, the Raiders ground game was non-existent with Josh Jacobs. But this week, I don't think the Raiders will be able to get by without having a solid ground game. The good thing is that the Bills defensive interior isn't the best. And they gave up a lot of yards on the ground last week against New York. So really, this week is the perfect opportunity for this offense to get back on track running the football and I think running the football will not only keep our offense balanced and just help us move the ball effectively and efficiently but I think it would also help us control the time of possession in this game which in turn can help our defense rest up on the sidelines after their drives and also for defensive coordinator Patrick Graham to make the necessary in-game adjustments against Josh Allen and the Bills offense. Really if the Raiders want to beat the Bills I think we're going to have to impose our brand of football and not try to get into a shootout with these guys especially since that's their style of play and also when the Raiders offense is still not at 100% and still isn't at full strength. Jimmy G is only week two with his offense with this chemistry with his guys and we don't have Jacoby Myers as well so I just don't think that would be in our best interest I think that would be an advantage for the Buffalo Bills but Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills are gonna come into this game angry and motivated to show the entire National Football League that last week against the New York Jets on that Monday night football game was just a fluke and that they're the real deal they're a contender in the AFC while also this is a huge opportunity for the Las Vegas Raiders right they've been slept on I feel like this whole entire offseason we were not favorites to beat the Broncos we ended up beating them the Raiders are not favorites to beat the Bills right here so if the Raiders can go into this game and upset the Buffalo Bills then really at that point the Raiders can make a huge statement to the National Football League to show that they are in a legitimate threat this year and not a team that you should take lightly after upsetting another team and beginning the season 2-0 the Raiders most definitely need to bring their A game and as I said I think this is definitely an uphill battle I do agree with the fact that the Buffalo Bills are a favorite if I had to give a score prediction I think the Buffalo Bills are going to win this game unfortunately I think they're going to win something like 34 to 21 but I really hope I am wrong and at the end of the day it's any given Sunday when it comes to the National Football League but Raider Nation let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below anybody that's new to the channel make sure to like comment subscribe with that being said I will see you guys in the next one